to be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or to take arms against sea of troubles and by opposing end them. Die. Sleep. No more. And by a, a, a sleep to say we end the heartbreak and the thousand natural shocks. The flesh is there to tis the consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. To sleep. Perchance. To dream. To dream. Aye. Aye. <laughs> There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of such long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong. The proud man's contumely. Thanks. of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy take when he himself might his quietest make with a, a bare bodkin. <laughs> Who would fardels bear to grunt? And sweat under a weary life. That the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country. From who's born? No traveller returns. Puzzles the will. It makes us rather bear those ills we have. Fly to others. We know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus, the native view of resolutions is, is sickly double with the pale cast of thought and enterprise of great pitch and moments with this regard the currents turn awry and lose the name of action. But soft, you know. Fair Ophelia, nymph, and thy orisons, be all my sins remembered. Good, my lord. Good, my lord.